guys um this is weird because i know what i am at least planning on titling this video and i feel like that is very vulnerable for me um because i feel like i've kind of talked about mental health a little bit here and there but not like done a video like fully based on it i don't know why like i never thought i would i love watching videos about it i have nothing against videos about it but i just never thought like i would do that because that's not my content i just kind of wanted to vlog today because i had an especially hard night yesterday i was at a fall retreat where i was supposed to be having a lot of fun it's christian i'm a christian um which is very important to me um, this is a safe place for everyone, just want to make that very clear, um, but I do believe in God and that is something that's super important to me, especially in this time, especially in this time because I am not kidding when I say I don't think I would be here um, if it weren't for like my relationship with God along with like my friends, um, my friends who do believe in Christianity and those who don't. Um, anyways, I'm not trying to like do a disclaimer i do like in all my videos and bible verses so hopefully you guys kind of knew i was christian um hopefully i'm living a life that shows that i'm christian but anyways sorry for that little rant um i went to this fall retreat and i was supposed to be having like the best time ever because last month september was ex like an especially hard month for me and i don't know why i'm about to cry right now and I'm feeling embarrassed because I don't think I've ever cried in a video except for um, my homecoming video from senior year, I think. But anyways, I feel like I've mentioned in the past several videos um, of being sad or, I mean, there's one, my fall night routine, I kind of talked about it, how it was just, it's been a hard semester. Um, it's been a, like a good semester in some ways, but it's also been really hard. I've just been crying so much so I don't understand how there's still tears <laughs> left like I don't get it um I left my fall retreat last night because I just had a really hard time like the entire day was spent um I just wasn't there like my mind was on someone else um I'm just gonna be frank like I'm going through a breakup right now And I never thought I would say that because I was dating the person I thought I was going to marry. And I don't really know why because I'm so in love with him. And I'm being very vulnerable right now knowing that people are going to see this. Um, but that's just how I'm feeling. And so I'm going to talk about it because this is my YouTube channel and I'm allowed to talk about my feelings. It was especially hard yesterday um, and I had to leave because I was not doing okay mentally. And even if I had stayed um, until today, I don't think I would have gotten anything productive out of the conversations that we were having. Um, like what the what the guest speaker was talking about. Like yesterday, the two sermons that we had, the first one I was like somewhat there, but the second one, the second one I was, I don't think I heard a single thing. I was writing down things and I, like I did hear things, but it wasn't hitting me. Um, so I decided to leave and then I came back here and it was like just bad. Um, I know I did like a, a warning at the beginning of this so I'm just gonna start talking about it um, immediately or I'm just gonna transition. But yesterday night when I got back, I got back after 12 because it was like a 40 minute drive there and then a 40 minute drive back because I had to have a friend pick me up. I was that desperate. Um, I ended up like binge eating and then wanting to purge and that's obviously not good. I then like I was I stayed up until past four and I only slept four hours last night and I was just I was just not feeling the best this morning but I know I have to keep on moving on with my life. I am doing better like when the breakup happened I was running away from God and I'm going to talk about religion because it's, like I said, it's one of the, one of the two things that have gotten me through the past month and few days or a few weeks, however long it's been. I think it's been six weeks. It was running away, like, the second week of our breakup, it was, I was at rock bottom, 
and then on September 18th I was like no I'm gonna stop running and I know I literally like essentially ran away from camp um, but I'm not running away from God like I had my journal time today and I actually was able to like really dive into my Bible and my devotional and hear something and pray and it started it, like it immediately made me feel better this morning I cleaned my room I cleaned my space um, which also makes me feel better and I am feeling better but obviously like small things I did my laundry and I saw a pair of or I saw two pairs of Old Navy boxers um, and I just started crying because I don't even know why I have those I think it was just I would stayed over and I slept in them and I'm like he should have those but I have them and that makes me sad and I'm just so confused because I still want him and it's hard when you thought you were going to marry someone and then they no longer are even a person you talk to so it's really weird and I'm just documenting talking about like how I'm living essentially I don't know it's just a vlog but more focus on mental health um, obviously like healing and just like on top of like a breakup I have been diagnosed with depression, anxiety, and OCD March of 2022. And so I already live with those and in a time of heartbreak, like every time I see this person, it feels like my heart is like someone sticking their heart into or sticking their hand into my heart, squeezing my heart and then ripping it out in the worst way ever. That's how I feel every time I see them. And that's like that's how I felt when I saw the boxers because I'm like awesome cool so anyways I don't know if I'm making sense but basically on top of like having mental illness already which I will say like I think I'm typically fine I I don't like I don't know I genuinely think I'm a happy person but maybe other people that know me would say differently um, but just the past like six weeks have been really hard and I I have these like super high highs um, and then I have these really low lows. Like last night was like a low, 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 low. It was so bad. And then I was mad at myself because I was like, why am I sad right now? Like, I don't need to be sad. I've been so happy. I've been doing better. And it felt like I was back at square one. And I know I'm not. I know it was just a few steps back. Um, because healing, everybody says this, but it's really true. Healing is not linear. And I need to stop beating myself up about it. And my mom said something really good this morning when I was on the phone with her. She said that I need to give myself grace um, like I would give other people grace. I do know someone who's going through kind of a similar thing, breakup. Um, it's not the exact same situation, of course, but um, I've been giving them so much grace. Like everything they do like seems totally practical and makes sense in their journey of like navigating after a breakup but I'm not giving myself the same grace which is confusing um, of course we're always harder on ourselves but I just need to keep on remembering that I should give myself grace and it's okay to feel broken because that is how I feel I mean I'm feeling a lot better and I have definitely learned things throughout this um, probably was too dependent on that person and now I'm happy to not be I miss him like crazy like every day I wake up and I'm like oh I have to do this again without texting this person like I miss the good morning texts and the good night texts and just like the random like how are you doing like seeing them um uh, like when I'm alone like right now I'm like um I mean they would be working and I would probably be doing homework so we probably wouldn't be hanging out but it's just the fact that when I am alone I'm like this is a time when I would at least ask if we could hang out um or we would have plans to hang out and so it just kind of sucks I will say I've said it <laughs> before people surrounding me are really great my family but also just the other RAs which I was so nervous because my friend Libby, who's been in videos, she um, was an RA last year in the same building as me, so we spent a lot of time together, and she's not living here anymore. And so I was nervous that I would be isolated, um, specifically like when the breakup happened. But thankfully, I've made really great friends here, 
and they've been in videos too so I'm sure you guys can like go find who they are but anyways I am just in a very interesting point in my life I know what I want like what I want is the person I want him because I'm like I said I'm still in love with him but I'm also having to just realize that the probability of us getting back together is really low because they don't want me at least that's what I know so I don't know it's very confusing and I kind of hate it <laughs> it's some of the ickiest like it's one of the ickiest feelings I've ever felt one of the hardest things I've ever gone through too but I'm getting through it and that's all that matters I'm allowed to be sad um, and I'm also allowed to be happy so I don't know if anything I made sense or I don't know if anything I said made sense so I'm sorry you had to listen to this rambling and it was super long like I'm looking at my timer right now and it says 12 minutes and 30 seconds hopefully I was able to cut it down a little bit but I don't know I need to make a stop to Walgreens I want to drop off a film camera from my trip to Michigan and I want to get Chipotle for Leonard because I think I'm going to hang out with some of the RAs actually. I do need to do some homework so I'm just going to vlog for the rest of the day because I think that would be kind of fun. Um, but yeah, I do want to say sorry for missing an upload on Saturday. I was wanting to do, I went to a role model concert actually on Thursday and I wanted to video record that um, and post a vlog of it on Saturday. I just didn't have time to edit. Um, anything also I had like a medical procedure done on Friday along with late night at the fog so there was just a lot going on so apologies for missing um, that upload but I've been trying to post twice a week and I think I've been doing pretty good at it um, so hopefully no more missed uploads you guys are seeing this on Wednesday I'm pretty sure that at least that's the plan um, but yeah, we're gonna go back to the vlog. I don't really know what style of editing I'm doing. So if there's music, talkovers, don't really know. I'm just gonna try to capture glimpses of the day, so. Okay, I just did some homework. I have one more class that I need to do homework for and that's Portuguese. Honestly, last year I loved Portuguese so much. It was one of my favorite classes, but this year, or this semester, Hasn't been my favorite. I think it's actually my least favorite class, probably, and so I'm putting that homework off because I do not want to do it right now. So I'm probably gonna wait to do that. Um, but yeah, other than that, I'm done with homework for the day. Like, that's due tomorrow. I could work ahead, but I just am not wanting to do that right now. <laughs> or I haven't actually wanted to do that at all this semester, really. Um, because what I try to do is I try to jam pack my days and by doing that I am procrastinating. I could work ahead jam packing I guess, um, but instead of like working ahead on homework I fill my time with doing things that could still be productive like reading, um, but also things that aren't productive. Like I've been watching Vampire Diaries, which I love watching Vampire Diaries, but um, I never watch TV so the fact that I've been doing that is like almost concerning to a certain extent um, but anyways I'm just watching YouTube right now I might play Sims honestly because that is always fun but yeah I'm just gonna do this for a little bit I'm waiting to get my keys from Anna um, and then I'm gonna go to Walgreens so yeah okay guys I thought I would update I'm back in my room right now with Ruth and Grace. Did you see what I did there? I did see that. <laughs> I did it. She, she said Grace and she can't be you. But yeah. She thinks right. she's funny. And I'm with Matthias. Just kidding. <laughs> Not Anna. Anna. What? Bless you. Thanks. <laughs> is Aubrey Anna now? No. Matthias is Aubrey. I'm Anna. You're Matthias. Ruth is Grace. Grace is Ruth. Okay. Got I'm it. I'm Matthias? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Got, it? Got it. I'm back. I went to Chipotle, ate dinner, and then I've been hanging out with Grace, Ruth, Matthias, and Anna. And I think we're gonna watch Don't Worry, Darling. If it works, we'll see. Um, and yeah, it's getting. <laughs> Where's, Where's, Grace? My head? Where's Ruth going? Ruth. Ruth. 
Bro. Can I say hi to your vlog? Yeah, you can. Hi, vlog. It's Anna. You might remember, remember me from the Michigan trip. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I think I'm having really bad allergies right now, but that's an update that I would say hey. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video. It's the next day, it's Monday. Um, just got ready for the day, if you can't tell. And yeah, that is basically it. Hopefully you guys enjoy like seeing um, a very chill, relaxed vlog. I don't know. I am a little scared to sit down and edit this and I'm scared that I won't like how it turned out. Um, but also like I kind of want to upload it because this is what my life is right now. And I definitely go back and look at old videos now. And so in the future, it would be nice to see like how I've grown from now to then. I am a little nervous for this week, just like another vulnerability chat. I'm a little nervous because I was doing well, not good, but I was doing better. I wasn't crying every day when like I needed to stay in bed. I was starting to actually eat healthy, exercise healthily. Um, so this week was like my first week where I have like a packed schedule. Like I have appointments, I have like lunches with friends, workouts with friends. So I'm a little nervous because I kind of like packed my week for things that um, Aubrey who isn't sad would do. And so I'm nervous for that. Um, but you know, we'll see how this week goes. Maybe I'll do another vlog in the future, kind of like this style, where it's just like very vulnerable. You guys are seeing everything. It's a lot of deep chats and things like that. But anyways, wish me luck for this week. I'm gonna go ahead and try to start editing this video some at some point today because I'm gonna get it up on Wednesday, which I believe is the 19th. Um, but yeah, it should be the 19th. And yeah, I don't know. I am on duty tonight, unfortunately, so that's going to be fun, but that's the end of this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know um, what type of videos you guys want to see in the future, and yeah, I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.